Hey, today is Monday, September 30th. It's 8.30 a.m. and I got an offer from Uber Eats to go to Starbucks. I'm gonna get $5 for 2.3 miles. The order was ready. I didn't have to wait at all. And uh, the Starbucks wasn't that busy this morning. I think because of the time. It's uh, 8.35 right now. So there wasn't that many people in there because most people are at work or something. $4.47 for four miles. No thank you. So uh, now I'm headed off to a business and it is uh, one mile away from here, a three minute drive. It's a meet at the door and there's no specific instructions just to meet at the door. So, but at this particular business, usually I don't meet somebody at the door. I have to go inside. So that's what I'm going to do. It should be actually it should have been set as a handed to me, not a meet at the door. But um, sometimes people put things in just because it's the most, it's the first thing they see on the menu, and they think, well, okay, meet at the door. That sounds fine. And then they go back to work at their desk, and then they're not, um, they're not at the door. Okay, I'm turning into the. Uh my turn into the business complex where the uh, drop-off is and I think this place on the right I think this is it um, but as I recall the door the person I dropped off to last time I was here they weren't immediately inside these doors they were like deeper into the into the building so I'm gonna try that again and see if it works time is at 8 40 a.m. and I got the next one from uh, DoorDash it's gonna be uh, six dollars uh, to go to Starbucks for uh, 2.8 miles thank you All right, here we go again. And uh, once again, it was good news. The Starbucks is still slow. And the uh, order I needed to pick up was ready. So there was no waiting. So I am flowing along just fine without any problems. And uh, that's great for a Monday because usually I run into a lot of obstacles on Monday but i guess everybody is flowing today so let's just keep that pattern going four minute drive 1.6 miles i'm going to a house i have a gate code and it's a leave at the door okay i'm headed towards the gate so let's see if the gate code actually works okay let's see what is the code all right i'm gonna try it it worked uh, let's see it is a leave at the door it's going to be I believe this house here on the left coming up yep I'm going to have to make a U-turn the customer requested you leave the order at their door alright we made it let's drop it off
Time is 11.17 a.m. Boy, is it slow today. I got something from DoorDash. I'm going to go to Applebee's, and then I'm going to go to Chipotle. And then I am going to start dropping off at the customers. I'm going to get $10.47 for 5.1 miles. Wow, that took a long time. That took 15 to 20 minutes I had to wait for that order. And now I've got to consider whether or not I want to put this restaurant on my no pickup list because it was so painful waiting. And there was an absolutely no reason why it should have taken that long. There was zero reason. There was I think one customer inside the entire restaurant and they had two people working the floor of the restaurant. I heard multiple people back in the kitchen just chit chatting away and the only thing that the customer ordered was a salad. So you cannot tell me it took them 20, 15 to 20 minutes and I had already gotten the order and I got a message saying that the order was ready for pickup. So I think that what happened was is that they just didn't see where it was. That it had been ready this whole time, but for whatever reason, wherever it was placed, they didn't they just misplaced it. And they're like, well, I don't see it. And then when some when another lady finally approached me who she came back from her break, somehow she knew where, where it was and she brought it out to me. So yeah. No more Applebee's. So the next stop is going to be Chipotle. Wow, they're doing construction right here and people are driving reckless. Next stop, Chipotle. Time is now 11.45 a.m. It's been 30 minutes since I accepted this offer. So that, <laughs> that is exactly a half an hour and I still haven't picked up the Chipotle order. I'm just pulling into the parking lot now to pick it up. This is a really bad one. Thank you. Got the order for Chipotle. The order was ready to go, but the, there were two employees near the register not paying any attention to me. They were having a conversation about something. I don't know what, but it was a whispered conversation and they were just standing there. And then when their conversation wrapped up, the one person who was who had their back to me spoke and at, uh, turned and just looked at me and I just said the name of the person then she relayed it to the girl who she had been whispering to <laughs> even though the girl who was facing me in that conversation was directly right facing towards me she wasn't the one who finally spoke so that told me she told me that she's probably a subordinate and probably in training and that person who was talking to her was probably, you know, her manager or something, her trainer. I don't know what, but she was not, she was not giving me any attention. It was the other person. And then the other person was ordering the other person to go fetch the bag that I had just said the name uh, for. And then she brings it over to me and just has to confirm because I get then she was worried that she was going to hand me the wrong bag. So she just repeated the name and what's the last initial. I told her the last initial and she gave it to me. This this whole order is just is just been a real bust, a total waste of time. If I could go back in time, I would have declined this one. One thousand percent drop off is going to be just 0.4 more miles from here two minute drive 
It's going to be an elementary school, and i got to leave it in the front office. Well, I'm just about at the elementary school. I don't know what the parking situation is going to be like because it all depends whether or not school is getting out or not. What I usually do when I get here is I just park as close as I can to the door. Just throw my hazard lights on and run in. And it's the door is where the flagpole is. So I'm going to throw my hazards on now and get this done. Time for Jared. Thank you. All right, the drop off went just fine. There weren't any issues. And now I'm headed off to the customer that ordered the food from Applebee's, 1.9 miles from here, a four minute drive. They messaged me, they sent me a message saying to uh, meet them in front of this building on the corner. So that's kind of unusual, but they described the color of the building. They mentioned the cross streets that they were going to be located at and to meet them outside on that corner. So that's going to make for once again another fun drop off. Okay, I'm coming up on the building. It's going to be on the right hand side. They said it was like an orange colored building. That must be it there where it says kids tooth or something. I'm going to turn in and then I'm just going to let them know that I'm here. Okay, so I met the customer and it's done. Next one is going to be from Uber Eats, $7 to go to Grimaldi's, that's a pizza place, for 2.4 miles. have to say that all these drop-offs today have really sucked they've been really lousy drop-offs and of course the pickups haven't been so great either this one I didn't have to wait for it they just had to they had to pour the drink and now of course this next drop-off is a hotel so I'm gonna have to go up the elevator and get to uh, the drop-off location and that's going to take more time to do, but at least the number of miles is slow. And then, of course, everybody and their mother is out in the parking lot trying to come and go as they please. They're either trying to back out or they're trying to get to their cars. It's like it's like every single um, person has decided they're going to leave the store and get on the road all at once. It's like this. It's like a. It's like a perfect storm of um, parking lot situation. It's just a total mess. And this guy can't drive worth a damn. He's like, he thinks he can drive on the left side of the road. He must be from another country in his fancy Bentley. <sighs> Come on, let's just get this day over with. This is one of those crappy days that you always dread. It started off so nice and relaxing and turned into a total piece of garbage. The only good news is that it's 12-12 now, so the day is almost over. There's not much time left, so they can't F us much more today than they already have. 1.5 miles, 5 minutes, meet at the door. Alright, I'm pulling into the parking lot for this, uh, this hotel that I have to go to. And I don't think I'm going to be able to record much because both of my hands are going to be full of pizza and beverage. So I don't have any hands free to do any recording. But I'll do the best I can. If it turns out that I can, then I shall. 
And if I can't, you know the drill. I'm walking through a hotel and, and I'm knocking on a door. That's going to be the routine. Let's see if there's a parking spot available. Come on, people. Walk a little faster. Just a little faster. This is the part where I park. So why don't you walk just an like two miles an hour faster so I can get the heck home. Next offers coming in from DoorDash. I'm going to be going over to Sprouts uh, shopping for four items. $13.25 for 5.8 miles. everything um, that they wanted except for one item I can't move my car yet there are all these kids getting out of a minivan next to me so I've got to wait for them all to get away from my car so I can easily back up without running any children over oh boy all right so I'm backing out now and everything worked out fine inside the store there were no, there were not any real dramatic moments that happened that I could think of. It was pretty standard. There were long lines, three checkers were open, but things rolled along just fine. And I was able to get out of there with minimal pain. So not too bad at all. And now I'm headed off to a house. It's a regular customer that I've been to many times and it's in a gated community. It is a uh, two point eight miles from here an eight minute drive and we are in and this time they didn't have to call the customer which made it much faster now I've got to deal with the construction workers that are always at this house so I've got to figure out where I'm gonna park luckily the bag is light so even if I park a ways away it's gonna be fine I don't want to park in the driveway because last time I scraped the bottom of my car on the on the um, driveway because of the way it's angled. So I'm going to park where I'm supposed to park, which is right in front of a fire hydrant. You know, because that's how you're supposed to safely park in front of a fire hydrant, nice and safe. Thank you.